Well, Parsnar and Cage Doyce getting ready to close in this, our bent amateur flyweight title match. Chase Griffin, 2-0, fighting out of Team Wallhead and the blue Wallhead, Drudo Jimmy Trunks, taking on Alliance BJJ's Josh Martram. This should be a hell of a fight. These guys are both high-level amateur fighters. Martram with a little more experience, uh, probably five or six more fights at the amateur level, but Chase has looked good in both of his in both of his forays into the cage so far. This has got a real interesting feel to it. Yeah, Chase has only got two amateur MMA fights, but he has got kickboxing fights and other contests under his belt. So the experience is probably about even. I've seen him fight two or three times on different style shows. And this is his hometown show as well. You know, Fight UK, Leicester based. He's training out with Jimmy Wallhead, Team Wallhead. Think there's any pressure on this young man's shoulders? Yeah, it, it, there's definitely pressure, but Chase is one of them guys that he, he revels in it. He loves the pressure. I mean, he threw that right hand with a vengeance. Martram ducks underneath and is now really working to control the takedown. Chase stand heavy. Big takedown by Martram there, though. Yeah, huge pick up and slam there. Straight into the half guard as well, and an open half guard. It looks like he could slide that leg out if he wanted, but yeah, maybe, maybe yeah, it's a bit, bit of Randy Couture there, locking down the half guard, maybe looking to posture up and rain down some ground and pound. Yeah, possibly. Chase's game isn't the ground game. He knows what he's doing. He's very experienced on the floor, but he's definitely more of a striker, wrestler, for, you know, he, he, he's looking to get up here. He's not looking for that, for the, for the, for the ground game, not work, looking to work for submissions off his back. He will take them if they're there, but that's why the half guard is open, so he can get the knee across the belly and try and get back up. Thought he had an opportunity there with a butterfly guard in to kind of kick away and get some distance. Instead, chose to strike from the bottom, and is he looking for an arm? Thought he was looking for an arm there. Yep, like I said, he's going to take the chances if he finds them. And the arm ball was there for a split second, so he went for it. But, um, you know, he's back in guard, foot on the hips. He's going to look to push away. You know, he might use the oh, arm Oh, that's ball. heavy ground and pound. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's what Macho, uh, that's what, that's what Chase needed to do was explode and separate. Because against the cage and on the floor, Mottram was having his way. Yeah, Mottram's very heavy on top. Them shots were big. Oh, he chops him down. And then asks him to get right back up so you can see definitely where Chase wants this to go. Yeah, this is definitely a striker versus grappler style contest. Both guys are very efficient in all areas, but Mottram is definitely more a ground specialist and chases the kickboxer. He wants his stand, he wants the bang. Chase did very well working to get back to his feet, but it took a long time to do it. And three three minute rounds, you can't afford to give up that kind of cage time. No, if Chase gets took down again, he needs to get back up straight away. Even though he was doing well off his back, he did have the armbar attempt. Mottram still controlled the position on top and landed some heavy ground abound. Yeah, absolutely. You could feel the shots all the way over here landing. Yeah, going into this fight, the game plan is definitely Chase to stay standing and Mottram hit that double leg. You know, get that take down and, and use his heavy ground and pound. I mean, the slam takedown from the body lock was a thing of beauty as well. Here we go. Second round of three in this flyweight fight UK amateur title match. Chase Griffin in the red corner taking Josh Mottram fighting out of the blue corner. And here we go. Round two and they all start on their feet.
You see Chase going back to that low kick. That was a really heavy low kick that we saw at the end of the first round that took him off his feet. And again. Yeah, there it's okay. a low calf kick that yeah. we're seeing more and more in the UFC now. It's filtering down into the UK amateur shows. All right, so, uh, you know, get, getting a shin just above the knee into the thigh is bad enough. Getting a shin just into the muscle on the calf has got to be horrible. We can all thank Ben Henderson for this. Yeah. Chase. Chase now, you know, working that leg, very confident on his feet. And gets, yeah, you can see the two game plans clashing here now. Chase being a little bit more patient with his striking now. Yeah, he's calling the Pointing man on the though. center of the cage. He doesn't want um, Josh to, to get that cage advantage. And that's what Josh has got to do, push him back, take away the room behind him. And there it is, up against the cage, Josh working his game plan now. Now, did Chase have an opportunity there to push out and sprawl away, or was the cage too close? Yeah, I think it was, he, he, he sort of, he did like a running double leg, he didn't really go for the double leg, he ran to push him back. Oh, and Chase there with a frenetic bit of movement to ensure, look at the, look at the leg of Josh Martram. Oh, but Chase gives up that body lock. Tries to post. Uh, and now Martram heavy on top. And this is where Chase needs to just, just move. Just do whatever he can to get back up. Or, or look to lock the man down so the referee has no choice but to stand them. You can you see, see I don't think that works in the amateur because it's only three minutes. Yeah. It's too short a time to try and hold somebody to hope the referee will stand you up. Well, Martram has now worked in the, the full guard of Chase Griffin, who's tense. And again, you know, at the end of the round, some hammer fists. Oh! Oh, they, they don't want to go all the distance. Wow! And uh, that was a very competitive second round. Yeah, very. That could possibly be 1-1. I think Chase was definitely winning the stand-up. Josh, he did get the takedown towards the end, but he was only in the last 20 to 30 seconds. Yeah. But again, you know, that means, you know, everything to play for in this third round. Both fighters can't be assured that they've got a two-round lead. Wow. Just look at that leg on Josh Martin. I know, right it's now. horrible. It is black and blue already. And it's after six minutes and maybe five or six shots. He's marked up something fierce. He's going to be struggling walking tomorrow. Well, if he's holding the Fight UK title, maybe it'll make it a little bit easier. Corner's getting cleared out now as we go into our third and final round of the Fight UK amateur flyweight title match. Josh Martram in the black and with the purple stripe in the blue corner taking on Chase Griffin from Team Wallhead fighting out of the red. Here we go. Is it all about now? Is it, is it just a matter of getting off first, getting the game plan going first in this round? Or they both seem a little more cautious? I think they both know what's at stake, at stake now. You know, if I was in the corners, I would probably be telling them it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah. So they know it's third and final round. It's who's going to make the mistake first? Oh, uh, you know that! And, and there it is. Chase has kicked him away. He got him down. Referee's He's just going to make it over. No, it's over. He chops him down. And Chase 
Griffin is your new banter flyweight champion of Fight UK. And we got a show at the end. He finishes with a backflip and then the human worm. I haven't seen someone pick apart a leg like that since Paul Violence and Marco Ross way back in the day. It just didn't seem like he could stop it. And those leg kicks paid off and won Chase Griffin a title. Let's turn it over to our MC, Mr. Johnny Kitch, for the official decision.